What's up, Pisces? This is Soul. And Pisces, we're going to look at some energy for you for the month of February 2022 uh, regarding love and relationships. So the messages will be for Pisces sun, moon, and Pisces rising signs. Also for uh, Pisces who are single, Pisces who are in committed relationships already, and for the Pisces who are saying into same sex. All right, so here we go. I'm using the Victorian Romantic Tarot deck to do your reading, and also I'm using the uh, Oracle deck, Yin Yang. Just, you know, messages, and those messages are usually direct. Uh, so we'll see what happens um, when I draw those cards as well. All right, so you know that this particular deck has two lovers and two devils. So if you should happen to get two lovers, and two devils are two devils, then it's double the energy. So we'll see. All right, so Pisces, let's see what's going on here. What's going on for my fellow fishes? Um, energies for Pisces, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. It could be for uh, Pisces, Venus, or I, I, I don't know. I don't want to get too in depth with that. You know, I just stick to the sun, moon, and rising <laughs> aspects. Okay, so let's see. All right, so Pisces, we want to start off your energy with that of the, oh, look at that, three of cups, your own energy. And you know, when I do these readings, I always like the cups to show up. So you have the three of cups. There's a time and a need to celebrate. This could be with your significant others for those Pisces who are already in relationships. This also could be a small social setting where you're hanging out with some friends and there might be a romantic connection or link through whatever the social setting or outing that you may have with your friends. It could be family. And then, um, yeah, there's a need to celebrate someone's birthday, anniversary. It's all about happiness, joy, love, equanimity in terms of expressing uh, what you feel for someone and what someone feels for you. So this is your theme for the month. Three of Cups, that starts us off. Always say the first card is the energy that starts us off or what you have to look forward to for the remaining of the month. Your shadow energy here relates to another positive card. It's the Four of Wands. This is the card of happiness, okay? Definitely happiness. Um, not going to be discussing any other areas or aspects of your life. In terms of it could be moving in with someone that you have a romantic connection with. It doesn't necessarily have to be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it very well could be. Um, I do feel that I'm reading for some Pisces who are already in relationships with um, Leo comes to mind, but you know, I'm feeling other fire energy. So you could be moving in. Uh, if you're already together, you could be, you know, as a couple and move to a different uh, location, different area. But it's always about the uh, inside and the contents of the inside of the house and sharing that happiness with the four walls and the floors and, and everything. Just having a good time, having a good time. So I think that some of you may be, um, you know, taking the next step, could be taking the next step and um, your relationship. And that means, you, you know, you were dating, but you live in separate facilities. And now you decided that, you know, things are getting a little bit better for you. Um, and, you know, not better, but serious for you. And then you want to go to, you know, to the next step, which is shacking up. All right. So that's the four of uh, wands at your shadow uh, following. And what's crossing that three of cups now, we have the seven of pentacles. So, yes, it's definitely a month to get your energy out there, uh, Pisces. And whether, you know, I know we're still dealing with this pandemic and everything, but a lot of connections are being made social through the social means. OK, that social, uh, you know, Traffic has picked up substantially since the pandemic since the pandemic started, like you know, in 2019, late 2019. So yeah, there's ops, yeah, options for you to pick and choose from. She's in the flower bed, um, you know, and then she picked one flower, but she can also pick from several other flowers if that's what she wanted to. Pentacles always uh, represents uh, long term, and for some of us, uh, permanence you know, stability. So maybe this is what we're looking for in our relationships and moving forward, whether, you know, you're single and that's what you're aspiring to achieve. Uh, it doesn't have to be with Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It could be with anybody because this is my options card. There's people who are available for you to connect with if that's what you choose to do. 
All right, following the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles, and there's the new relationship, okay? So um, this person is could be, you know, a straight Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, younger, male or female. Uh, they're very mature for their age. They're very resourceful, but they're willing to share their accumulated resources with you, okay? They're, unlike the king or the queen, they're not heavily materialistic, even though they like the finer things in life. So you could, you know, connect with someone uh, who is younger and who could be definitely an earth sign or have some sort of earth sign energies in their birth chart. Um, so I'm, you know, really feeling that there could be a connection as well uh, because it mirrors the three of cups. When I say if you go out socially and you're invited out with friends or family members, there could be somebody who uh, is could be a you know lead to a romantic connection or a link there. This person is good with handling money, uh, so they may work in banking or finances or something to do with finances. Okay, so page of P uh, pentacles is there. Up next after that, you have the ace of cups. So this reading is starting off pretty good for you, Pisces, because the ace of cups is definitely about new love. And I just said in the Aquarius video when I drew the yin yang oracle. There was an Ace of Cups that showed up here. And it's also a renewal of type of energies for those Pisces who are already in established relationships. It's not the renewal that I talk about is not someone that you've already dealt with. And there's like a second chance or a new beginning. Now, it could be, but that's not just how I'm interpreting this or reading the energies that are given to me. OK, I just feel like there's a renewal of an existing relationship of two people where there could have been a little bit of stagnation going on, you know, and you want to put a little, you know, spark back into your relationship. That's the renewal type of energy that I'm referring to. This is your energy, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So definitely with the Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, which is a court card, uh, could be male or female, but a younger energy, and then, uh, but very mature for their age, and then the Ace of Cups. So, so far, so good. Up next is the Four of Cups. Damn. Okay, so now you have the Four of Cups, Pisces. And I am so glad that this energy is showing up here for you guys because, you know, I've done Pisces readings in the past and always, you know, felt kind of bad when, you know, the, you know, the negative cards always showed up. Now, we still have a ways to go. So, you know, but this is, this is hopeful. This is very, very hopeful um, because, like I said, the theme for you for the month of February is happiness celebration of course valentine's day but i didn't mention happy valentine's day yes that could be all part of this energy that is showing up here for you and a four of cups again is my social card just like the three of cups two of cups and so you might be at a small gathering hanging out it could be a double date um it's an even number of cups so it's like what you you know what you put out you receive back okay equanimity and emotions and love so this is a very good card to get, and it represents you, um, Cancer and Scorpio. Wow. Okay, so let's keep this energy going for my fellow fishes. And now you have Judgment card, Major Arcana, the first one that you uh, receive. And this is not really a bad thing. I feel that with the Judgment card, it's about, um, number one, being spiritually watched over uh, when it comes to your relationships, okay? And then also, there could be energy related to being spiritually guided. Now, this spiritually uh, guidedness could be for those singles as well as the couple. So pay attention. And you know you guys are intuitive, so pay attention to your intuition. This is my awakening card, so it could be some things that you discover about yourself. When it comes to your relationship that you didn't know before, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, or it could be something that you discover about someone else and it doesn't have to be a bad thing uh, when it comes to them. The most important thing is for you to remember not to be uh, judgmental or critical uh, and harsh towards yourself when it comes to your relationship. And do not pass that judgment on to other people because it just will backfire for you. Okay, so that's the Major Arcana, the Judgment card. Up next is the King of Pentacles. Here's a court card. Just like that page of Pentacles. Now, this is a mature uh, could be a mature earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, someone new coming in on the scene or is someone who is already on the scene. And there's some Pisces I'm reading for that are in established relationships or connections with an older, mature 
Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This person works, uh, does something very important in the line of work that they have chosen. This could be a business owner, uh, entrepreneur, of course, a contractor, independent contractor, someone who is self-sufficient, someone who is uh, dependable, someone who is reliable. Um, they have accumulated some sort of wealth or resources, but they're willing to share that energy with you. Now, they come across as being overly, um, you know, some of them can come across as being overly materialistic, but they like the finer things in life. They like to share the finer things in life with the significant other that they have an interest in. So the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Up next is the Magician, another major arcana here. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about, um, you know, the uh, in the past I've talked about the uh, Magician as I read it for, you know, actual as an actual person. But I'm not going to, you know, emphasize the negativity uh, regarding or relating, you know, uh, this card. The ma uh, magician overall is about manifestation. If you didn't know that, you know it now. So we're talking about love and relationships. So it could be for those single Pisces out there who are, you know, manifesting or wanting to manifest, saying your mantras every day and, and what you want to bring into your life, the type of relationship uh, that you would like to experience and you know you throw that energy out there to the universe the universe normally responds if you do not um, you know uh, go against your thought processes your own thought process so don't become your own enemy when it comes to these uh, manifestations of what you want to bring into your life regarding a relationship and they can just as well work for you know those Pisces who are already and relationships in terms of manifesting, you know, something better out of the relationship that you currently have. The magician still as a person, just be careful here with false energy, okay? Because the, the, the magician is still a trickster, still could be a false person. And, you know, it's always about someone putting on a mask and trying to deceive. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm leaving it at that because I trust my fellow fishes that they will rely on their intuitive senses because it is so much stronger than the rest of the water signs. Okay, so following the magician here, we got now the, okay, so listen, you have the tower. <laughs> I just said that, um, you know, I felt bad in the past for, you know, doing these readings for Pisces and whatnot, but we want to go with the flow here. The tower is about disruption. Uh, it's about, um, things that we cannot control. Now, and in not incorporating any other areas or aspects of your life, this is the focus of, you know, shocking news, but I also said in the past too that because of the tower's energy and the shock or the, I, I oftentimes refer to this as, it could be, you know, orgasmic. It could be multiple orgasms, explosions of orgasmic energy. Now, it could be for male, female, it could be same sex. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to read it for you this, this time around that this is what I'm feeling here because this tower is not going to take away the energy, even though it has its own power and it's, you know, its own resources and stuff. It's not going to diminish um, everything else that has come through for you on a positive note. And plus the energies that diminishes this tower somewhat is the judgment card and also the magician so don't take that to heart here with the tower showing up use it as an example for um you could be um just having some sort of great sex and then you know or <laughs> probably the best sex you ever had um either that's with someone new that you connect with or someone that you already are dealing with and the renewal of energy is like you're experimenting trying new things uh and don't feel you know like you're some sort of uh freak you know we all have fetishes and stuff like that explore it you know sex is great just don't get it pinned down or get bogged down about oh no i can't do that that's that's disgusting that's this that's that and then, you know, once you allow yourself to get involved in whatever the activity is, as long as not, you know, near death and choking, um, you know, trying to kill you or something like that, you'll find out that, oh, this is something that I could enjoy. OK, so I don't want to get off on no tangent on that, Pisces. <laughs> Last card for you in this reading is this is the blessing. OK, so that's why I said do not fret about that tower, because now you have the lovers to finish you off. 
we have the lovers. And you know, everything about this lovers, it's about new partnerships. It's about, you know, um, spending quality time with significant others if you're already in an established relationship. It's about just, you know, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another. The lovers represents Gemini. It doesn't matter. Um, some of you could be dealing with air sign energies, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Some of you could be connecting with those types of energies. It doesn't really matter because they encompass, the lovers encompasses all the zodiac signs. So this is the uh, card that finishes you off. So you have like uh, one, two, three, four major arcana. So I would just say in closing here for you, Pisces, this is actually a pretty good read. Remember your shadow energy is the four of wands. So that could be that someone is moving in or couples that are already together, they're moving to a different location. And so this is what I have for you. Okay, so let's move on to the yin yang oracle here for you and just um, get some messages from this deck. And these are just messages and you can use them any old way that you want, however you want. It doesn't matter to me, whatever works for you. And you know, I always say that these are just general uh, readings and general energies. It's just me interpreting uh, the messages, and it may not be something that resonates with each and every one of you. Take out of it what you can and then leave the rest alone. All right, so your first yin-yang oracle message is growth. Okay, so I feel that the growth could relate to the relationship that may be established at this particular point in time, and then summer it says growth and then it says summer summer may be where it you know fully expands okay so there's some energy here related to a relationship that uh is going to grow and then you might uh witness full expansion uh in the summertime so anything is possible here so let's see let's get another message i will be drawing three cards from this deck and, you know, of course, they're not read in uh, reverse. So, of course, if they show up reverse. Okay. And look, assistance. Well, the assistance, and it says spirit guides. I just mentioned to you about the judgment card. Spiritually being watched over and spiritually being guided. So, always pay attention to that inner voice and, you know, whatever is, you know, coming through your gut in terms of instincts. But this is a watch over too. So, when... It comes to your relationships, just pay attention to the signs that you may receive. Some of you may be having dreams or some of you may just have visions. Some of you may just, you know, however it is that you receive messages, um, it's definitely coming through because your spirit guides are um, willing to work with you and they are around you. All you have to do is just uh, be still, be quiet, and just allow them to assist you. Okay, so yeah, assistance and spirit guides. So I like this. I like that. All right, last uh, yin yang oracle, and it's uh, alchemy. See again, ancestor guides. Now it's funny that these cards are showing up here specifically for you, uh, Pisces, because you guys are, um, you know, heavily spiritual, heavily uh, intuitive. So you know, I don't even want to question that. So again, it could be that um, you know you reach out in terms of. Um, guidance uh and it's via your ancestors or whoever your ancestral guides are uh, but you have the uh the energy to manifest through the magician and um you know want the right relationship or get the relationship that you are been longing for or if you're already in a relationship you know um possibly having to make that relationship better i feel that this it relates to you know for some of you meditation um, however you like to meditate. I know it's not easy for me to meditate, and I know that I need to start learning how to quiet my mind. But this is what I have for you for the month of February. It looks very, very good. Um, Pisces, I hope the energy opens up for most of you. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. You know, you're still going to survive. And uh, just be safe and moving forward, and just be full of love, okay? Emit that love out there so it can come back to you. And um, can't wait to talk uh, to you again uh, real soon. Take care, Pisces. Bye.